This has attracted a lot of publicity. Are you surprised about the way the publicity has gone? I think the publicity is really positive. It's a great colour, it's a great bus, and Labour has great policies for everybody and great policies for women. What do you hope at the end of the day to achieve out of this campaign? We're trying to reach out to women. A lot of women feel politics is not about them, it's all about men in suits. And we're trying to say, look, here we are as women involved in the labour movement and we want to listen to you and, and understand your issues. You're going out and about on the doorstep in places such as Sarah and other places. So, you know, what are the issues that you are, you are hearing here in February 2015? Well, people are very concerned about the future of the NHS, men and women. People are very concerned about the cost of childcare. And people are very concerned about zero as contracts and low pay. And also, people are very concerned about tax dodging. And we have a message on all those things for people. Okay, over in our other paper in Harlow, on the, there was a little by-election in, in, in Harlow. UKIP had the seat and they, they had 600 votes in, in May of last year. That went down to 300 and Labour gained it. Does that, may, may that send a message out regarding May of this year? I think that the collapse of the UKIP vote in Harlow tells you that the UKIP bubble may be about to burst because people are recognising they're just Tory light. Diana, and the, the, the pink bus behind you has attracted a lot of attention. Are you surprised about the attention that's gained? Uh, what I'm not surprised about is that people are responding extremely positively to it, especially women. And you know why? Because they recognise our, both our record and our pledges are the kind of things that mean that they are responding positively to Labour. Because remember what we did in government. We were the ones who introduced Sure Start. We were the ones who introduced child um, tax credit and working tax credit. We were the ones who introduced flexible working. And now we're talking about expanding childcare, a better deal for care workers and tackling zero hours contracts. Now, women experience all of those things every day. So when we're out on the pink bus, we're reminding people, ultimately, there's a choice. And if you care about yourself and your family, and you care about the people around you, then you need to be voting Labour on May the 7th. So when you're going about a day like today, whether you're in Greys or up in Chadwell or Perthley, are, you, are there specific issues in relation to women's lives that, that are coming out on the doorstep? Well, I know one of the things that's particularly striking is women's anxiety about zero-hours contracts, because a lot of them are on zero-hours contracts, and if they're not, then their sons or daughters are, or sometimes their husbands, and the struggle it makes for people to be able to make ends meet when they don't know how much money they're going to be having in, either this week or next, and what that means for them having to juggle um, the, their family budgets is really serious and when I talk to them about childcare so many of them are relying on their mums or their dads or their sisters when I say to them we would create wraparound childcare in schools from eight o'clock in the morning till six o'clock at night think about the strain that would take off your family not just you but your family they kind of go yeah okay that's good that's the kind of thing that would mean that I would be able to work contribute to my family budget and I'm not having to ask a favour all of the time of my mum or dad or my sister and that's a really important and valuable thing that we can offer working women and working families here in Thurrock. Finally you've taken a few digs from UKIP recently but on Thursday they lost 50% of their vote in a by-election not so very far away. Not so in far Harlem. away. Do you find that quite significant? Well, I think what's happening is that when the closer it comes to election time, people are starting to think more clearly about who they actually want to run the country. And they're, they're hearing more clearly what we're talking about, the kind of things we're talking about today. If you've got a choice between helping working mothers or giving tax, uh, tax cuts to millionaires, which would you do? Well, I know what's happened. The Tories are giving tax cuts to millionaires and working mums are, are struggling. So ultimately, people are going, well, what's in it for me? And what's going to make my community, my family and my country better? And UKIP is about turning their backs on the world and a race back to the bottom. And we don't want to be there, we want to be able to have a better country and a better community and better offer for ordinary working families here in Thurrock.